coming on to do a reading for the collective. It is just going to be a general energy check-in, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't make something fit your situation. If it doesn't fit or does not make sense for you, okay, I hope everyone is doing well. I'm just going to shuffle and then I'll pull the energy around the reading and pull the reading, okay? Okay, Spirit, what is the energy around this reading, please? What's that energy around this reading, please, Spirit? Energy Okay, freedom, honesty, and service. Okay. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself. I feel good when I can help others, okay? Um, the bottom is pride, okay. I love myself, but, and I see myself in everyone, okay? Um, hold on, let me see. Okay, so there's like this energy of maybe you putting yourself first right now, and maybe this isn't something you've done in a long time, um, but it could be to be building on your self-esteem. Um, you may have people that you help in some way, or you've did, you've done this like job of being like a caretaker in life. Um, maybe most of your life you've taken care of other people or put people before yourself, but you may be coming into this place of... Um, spending a lot of time on on yourself and what you what you want to do when it comes to when it comes to your own hold on <coughs> excuse me when it comes to your own needs um and this may have been like a sudden like I don't mean like awakening like spirit it's just like a realization maybe like an epiphany that you had where maybe you felt like, you didn't like the way you saw yourself, or you didn't like the position you saw yourself in, in one day, like, you had this, like, maybe you were doing something when it came to, like, helping another person, or doing something, like, like maybe you were doing the dishes, and you had, like, um, like, a lot of chaos going on, and you just had this, like, realization that you didn't like, that you were spending so much time, maybe focusing on like other things outside of yourself when there was like this awareness that you wanted to bring a lot of that into your own own self um so that you could feel more confident maybe in the ability to give to others um because I don't feel like this is a, I don't feel like this is like a prideful decision even though pride is here I feel like this is a service to yourself when it comes to pride in the way that you are able to feel proud and feel feel good about yourself um so that you're able to assist in the ability to be um able to give out in in some way to 
people that you may help in in life. Um, so it just is like coming into this like awareness of the the idea of giving to yourself the way you give to others, and um, feeling confident in that choice to move forward in that way. Okay, so I feel like that's the energy around the reading. Okay. You could be married, uh, you could be in a foundation with like a family. You may have come into this potential or realized potential of um, maybe self-worth or self-realization. Um, maybe of your own strengths and maybe like realizing that you weren't utilizing your strength to the fullest potential. Or maybe you um, want to progress further in being more independent while being in a connection. Um, you may feel like really loyal to somebody you're with or maybe you feel like you could accomplish something. You could accomplish more in a connection that you're connected to, uh, maybe in a partnership. Um, like there's opportunities that you could have a... You could have a... Um, like skill set with somebody that you're connected to in um, maybe a like a marriage or something like that like there's there's potential maybe that you have with with somebody that you're connected to and maybe you feel like you haven't realized that full potential or maybe you haven't um, maybe you haven't even looked at what the full potential is with you and somebody that you're connected to but this could be something that you're having like an awareness around or waking up to um, and so you could feel like, you could feel like you, you have like this growth or maybe this, this feeling of growth in a partnership that you are compatible with. Um, and it could have brought you out of a place of like arguing. Maybe you were having a lot of arguments with somebody, um, that you were in a connection with. Um, but maybe you've come to this place of trying to grow in um, different areas and so it's brought in this like unified type of mutual respect or maybe you're finding more of a respect for somebody that you're connected to because of different ideas that you're sharing or coming into um or coming into like a similar perspective around um growth with or um like new ideas that you connect to on um, that you may be nurturing or working on or have like the idea to work on um, maybe helping you find strength or could be strengthening um, like resilience or tr like testing um, testing a commitment that you may have maybe it maybe your commitment has been tested and um, this is strengthening a connection that you are connected to where there's like this, where there's like this um, mutual respect for each other, and you may bond through maybe um, connecting on different ideas or similar interests or like passion projects or creating in some way maybe something, maybe something that you enjoy doing with somebody that you are connected to. Um, and so you could look at this person as having like an authority, like being a, being having like an authority in the connection or in the relationship. Um, they may be somebody that brings in like the stability to your foundation. Um, you may feel like they have a lot of res like they hold the responsibility to be protective and keep you have like a sense of privacy around you. They may be very healing. Um, and you may be very intuitive to their um, compassionate side. Um, you may help them be more compassionate. You may help them heal in ways um, as far as emotional stability or bringing out like a more romantic side um, where they can be like more dreamy or be more um, supportive. This could be something that they're shy around um, having people see or having people um see that side of them but it may be like a really beautiful side of them that they keep hidden and it may be something that you're able to bring um out of them when you are when you're with them um 
there's somebody that could help you as far as bringing in cycles of abundance. Um, they may bring in a lot of good change, a lot of good, a lot of good things may happen as far as like karma or it may not even be karma. This could be somebody that has like a lot of abundance or has like some sort of stability behind them. Um, maybe some sort of, um, they may just be somebody that has a lot of abundance. Um, it may bring in a period of allowing you to rest in your life. Um, take a time out from maybe difficult times that you've gone through. And this may be where you've realized that you want to feed more into yourself and your own needs and your and, and what's important to you as far as your self-love and um, taking care of of your own of, of your own self. Um, this may be where that time is coming in for you and you're you're maybe being allowed to take that time for yourself because of um these cycles that are opening up for you is like a change, a change that is coming in for the better, a change that's working in your favor, um, with the wheel of fortune here. Um and the two of and the two of swords, okay? So coming out of some sort of confusion with the Wheel of Fortune going in your favor, I feel like this is a time that's opening up for you where a lot of good things could be going in your favor as far as being able to bring in a lot of practicality and um, things that are going to help you rest and heal and bring in a lot of stability out of maybe some sort of confusion that you could have been in or have uh, maybe gone through, okay? So I'm going to pull an advice card. Okay. Whatever you have been putting off, don't procrastinate any longer. Tackle that long overdue project. You will feel better once you begin. Start with one thing at a time. Thoughts and ideas not acted upon are just laying in, laying in wait. You can do this.